Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mining Data Analytics Series. This is episode four. Uh, I'm going to be talking about hash value. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Blockware Intelligence uh, and like this video if you want to see more mining related videos. So we're going to be talking about hash value today. This is the quick chart of what hash value has looked like over the last year. But what is hash value? So hash value is an important metric for miners to be monitoring. Basically, it tells you how many sats or how much Bitcoin you earn per terahash per day. And again, terahash is basically a measurement of how much hash rate a miner has deployed. So there are a couple of things that increase hash value. One uh, possible way to increase hash value is simply transaction fees increasing. If holding all things difficult, holding all things equal, including difficulty, transaction fees increasing will actually increase hash value, meaning miners will earn more Bitcoin per terahash they have deployed on the network. Another uh, key, key, key reason as to why hash value could possibly increase is a network difficulty decrease. Network difficulty decreases can happen for multiple reasons. Uh, one very common one is economic reason, meaning some miners are simply not profitable to be operating their machines anymore. So they you know, may turn off their machine and difficulty may adjust downward. Another reason is political. We saw a great example of this when China banned mining uh, back in the summer of 2021. And then last, it could be you know an environmental reason, which could be anything from a natural disaster to the China rainy season that used to happen or that happens just about every year. Another, uh, so, so that's how basically hash value could increase, but hash value could also decrease. And in fact, it normally is decreasing fairly steadily over time. But there are two key sources that, that basically cause hash value to, to decrease. The first one is the block subsidy halving. This is something that occurs every four years in Bitcoin, where the amount of new Bitcoin released to miners uh, through the block subsidy gets cut in half. Um, and so I'll, I'll show examples of, of what this does to hash value, but, but basically it, it cuts hash value roughly in half. Another um, key example that happens just about every two weeks is network difficulty increase increases. This occurs normally when more miners are simply joining the network. Um, and it can also occur when ASICs are becoming more efficient. And so over time, both of these typically are happening relatively slowly, but happening. And difficulty is constantly moving upwards. And so let's, let's dive into some examples and, and look back at hash value since the beginning of 2020. So I highlighted three key examples here that, that show relatively major adjustments uh, in hash value. The first one in the very left, top left, is the March 2020 price capitulation. This was back when equities were, were falling uh, significantly back then. The price of Bitcoin fell roughly 50% in one day. And as a result of this, many miners were simply unprofitable, like they couldn't operate. So, so they shut off their machines. This ultimately led to a, you know, uh, accommodative downward difficulty adjustment meaning it, it became easier for miners to mine Bitcoin and therefore hash value increased. The next uh, red circle I have highlighted here is the May 2020 halving. This is you know, simply a block subsidy decrease. Uh, the block subsidy got cut in half. Therefore, the amount of Bitcoin that miners were, were earning uh, also got cut roughly in half, excluding transaction fees. So that was a big drop in hash value there. Moving on to the third example that I have here, this was the summer 2021 China mining ban. So this was obviously more of a, a political reason that that hash value adjusted upward. And the reason this occurred was because all those miners that were operating in China were forced to shut off their machines and difficulty ended up decreasing uh, a very significant amount. So zooming out a little bit, um, you can kind of clearly see that hash value is, is consistently trending down. And like I said at the beginning, 
this this makes a lot of sense because you know the price of Bitcoin is going up. Therefore, more miners are joining the network, um, and when more miners join in the network, difficulty increases. Um, you know, it's very profitable to mine Bitcoin, and so over time, <laughs> the the amount of Bitcoin that miners are earning uh, continues to to dwindle down just because more and more miners are demanding this such valuable Bitcoin. Zooming out a little bit further to the beginning of 2016, it becomes even more clear how much hash value uh, is, is decreasing. And a big part of this is simply ASICs becoming more efficient. So back in 2016, you know, there weren't the, 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 the machines mining Bitcoin were not nearly as efficient as the machines we have mining today. And so back then you were maybe mining on, on very early ASICs, maybe even GPUs. Um, and so you simply weren't producing many terahashes per day compared to machines like the, the S19 XP uh, now. But if we go zoom out even further and we adjust the price and hash value to both logarithmic scales, um, we, can, we can clearly see this, this same uh, trend playing out just, just on a lar larger time frame. Price is obviously clearly going up and to the right and hash value is clearly going down, down and to the right. Um, no surprises here, but it's, again, you know, this is a, a very important metric for miners to, to, to monitor, to watch and, and be, you know, understand that, that like, hey, like over time, as time goes on, I may be earning less Bitcoin, but that doesn't necessarily mean that my machine uh, is going to be producing less this is going to be less profitable because the price of Bitcoin can go up. Difficulty can possibly decrease. There are many different factors uh, that, that determine price, but hash value is a great metric uh, for miners to be monitoring. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any more ideas that you want me to cover in this mining data analytics series, please let me know in the comments or shoot me a message on Twitter. Thanks, guys.